Now to Jackson, Mississippi, where the water crisis is getting worse. A water treatment plant was damaged by flooding, so the tap water is not drinkable. Desperate families are now lining up for bottled water, but the government is running out of that as well. We know schools have had to resort to remote learning because of no running water. As CBS 2's Janet Shamlian reports, the state is now hiring people to fix that treatment plant, but there's still no timetable on when that will be done. A small airstrip in Jackson is now a water distribution site. How long have you been in line here? Uh, about two and a half hours. It's one of the only ways for residents like Brianna Barber to get clean drinking water. We've been boiling water for about a month now. Um, and right now we've just been waiting in line to get some free water because all the stores are out. Much of Jackson has been under a boil water notice since July after the health department found cloudy water in the system. Then over the weekend, major flooding forced the shutdown of the water treatment plant, leaving more than 150,000 people without clean water, no showers, no brushing teeth, no drinking from the tap. They are moving cars through here quickly. It's just one case per car. They say they have enough for 600 cars, but by the looks of the line, it runs for several miles. Mississippi's drinking water infrastructure system is one of the worst in the nation, earning a D grade in 2020 from the American Society of Civil Engineers. A winter storm in February of last year left thousands in Jackson without running water after pipes froze. A public safety commission report found challenges in Jackson, including frozen equipment, loss of power, and outdated water infrastructure. The residents of Jackson are worthy. They are worthy of a dependable system. Jackson Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba says the city has spent every dollar it can to fix staffing shortages and maintenance issues with its water treatment plants, but needs help from the state. This is a set of accumulated problems based on deferred maintenance that has not taken place over decades. Some money for repairs could come from the recently passed infrastructure bill. And while Mississippi is slated to get $75 million, the cost of repairing just Jackson's problems could cost billions. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Jackson, Mississippi.